I'm gonna go over six money traps that's stopping millennials from saving for a down payment. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver. If you wanna learn ways to approve for a mortgage, home buying tips, and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. I've helped many clients with pre-approvals and the biggest reason why someone cannot qualify is because of down payment. You can purchase a home with as little as 5% and some don't even have that amount in their account. This seems to be the biggest hurdle because they can afford the rent. So basically, you're paying for someone else's mortgage. Saving for a down payment is difficult and requires great financial discipline but many people fall into these money traps that's stopping you from saving enough. Here are six money traps that you should avoid. Number one, renting an expensive home. Rent is expensive in Vancouver. Everyone knows that, but it keeps going up because people are still willing to pay for it. That doesn't mean there aren't cheaper options. The cheapest option and best way is to stay and live with your parents. I know it's not ideal, but think on the bright side. You know, you get some benefits like free laundry service or home cooked meals. The savings are huge. You can live in a place basically rent free. But if you can't stand your parents and you have to move out, or perhaps rent a two bedroom and share the rent with a roommate. The bottom line is be creative and keep your rent as low as possible. Number two, buying an expensive car. I know it's really tempting to show off your wealth and, and drive a flashy car, but don't fall for this trap. First off, you may think people care, but honestly, they don't. You may get such a great feeling out of it, but really, it'll probably just last for about a week. You're simply satisfying your own ego. Buying a car is one of the worst assets to buy. If it's brand new, the minute you drive it away from the dealership, it has already depreciated. You spend a whole bunch of money on financing or leasing the car, which by the way, reduces how much you can borrow for a mortgage and babying it. And you do all this on something that keeps dropping in value. If you're starting off and you need a car, buy a secondhand car. There's nothing wrong with that. Get something simple, but safe and reliable. As long as it works and takes you from point A to point B, then your car has fulfilled your purpose. Number three, spending too much on leisure activities and other luxury items. I think everyone knows this, but it takes discipline to execute it. I'm not saying to not have fun, but you're going, if you're going out eating and drinking every single weekend, the expenses will add up. And hold off on luxury items. These are just stuff that you may want to show off, and again, to satisfy your own ego. The value of these things will depreciate. Just simply check the resale on secondhand luxury items online and you'll see that they're priced significantly less. Warren Buffett once said, if you buy things you do not need, soon you will have to sell things you need. Number four, having an expensive significant other. Dating doesn't have to be expensive. Find a partner who has the same financial vision as you. If your partner is all about being pampered and showered with expensive things, then it'll be very difficult for you to save. Best is to find someone who also has the same financial goals as you and you work together to save for a down payment. Number five, paying too much interest on your credit card. I have clients who think carrying a balance on their credit card will help them improve their credit. That's absolutely false. Use your credit card spend it within your means and pay it all off when it's due. The interest on your credit card can be as high as 20%. That's very, very expensive. Pay it all off and don't carry a balance. If you have trouble controlling yourself, reduce your credit limit to say 500 and use cash or debit card more often. And lastly, number six, not investing your savings. If you followed the previous tips, you should have some savings now, but what are you going to do with it? You have to invest it, but not in savings accounts or term deposits. You need to be in investing vehicles that 
will bring you higher returns, such as mutual funds and stocks. Now, I don't have the actual stats, but we all know that Vancouver's real estate market continues to go up and up and up. So say it goes up on average, say 5% per year. Your savings need to grow and keep up with this average or else your buying power decreases. And one way to keep up is to invest in a balanced portfolio of mutual funds or stocks. Generally, the average return is around 5-7%. to If you're keeping your money in savings account or term deposits, you'll probably be getting less than 2%. I mean, you, you aren't even keeping up with inflation, let alone real estate prices. And there you go. We just went over six money traps that's stopping millennials from saving for a down payment. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. And make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage, where you're always achieving your approval.